Good morning, Cathedral. I'm Nicole. And I'm Brianna with your morning announcements for Friday, May 23rd. Let's start off today's show with a message from Mr. LaRue. Good morning, Cathedral. Uh, just here to say uh, the most sincere thank you to everyone for their help, support, uh, their donations, and, and purchasing tickets. A lot of staff and students purchased tickets and not even being able to make it to the show. With that said, we had almost two jam-packed shows with almost, uh, I'd probably say, almost a thousand people between the both nights. So it was an incredible turnout from staff and their kids and people in the community. It was, it was incredible. And, and last night we actually had a sponsor who came out and they matched our winnings from what we won at the National Show Choir Canada. So she matched the $1,500 that we won and she gave us $1,500 as well and presented us a check last night. So it was just a really uh, incredible evening and I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who supported us. Uh, I know the entire Glee Club was so happy and they're so proud of their achievements and their parents are as well. So thank you very much for coming out. If you didn't get a chance to see it, we'll be uh, at the carnival performing next Wednesday so at least you can come and check us out then it's gonna be a great day May 28th that is also my birthday so it's a national holiday I swear to God it is and uh, yeah so thank you very much for your support and have a wonderful day thanks sir all students who have met the profile for the YMCA summer jobs for youth program must submit their information package to guidance as soon as possible a drop box is located right outside of mr. Nordoff's office any student that does not submit this information by next Friday may be removed from consideration. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Nordoff in guidance. All staff, students, and parents are invited to attend an evening with Dr. Eva Olson at 7 p.m. tonight here at Cathedral. Dr. Eva Olson is a Holocaust survivor, author, and widely acclaimed public speaker. For over a decade, Dr. Olson has spoken to over one million people across North America concerning bullying and the importance of not being a bystander to injustice. This is a free event, but food or clothing donations for the Annex would be greatly appreciated. We hope to see many of you, your friends, and family at tonight's event. Tickets for the last school dance, entitled Throwback Thursday, are on sale today. Tickets are just $5 with a canned good donation, or $7 without. Guest tickets are also $7. If you'd like to bring someone from another school to our last school dance, you must fill out a guest application form. These application forms are available outside of the Student Council office today, and you would need to hand them in by Monday. The last day of ticket sales will be Wednesday, May 28th. All members of the Best Buddies are reminded of the Camp Marydale trip next Friday. It is, the, it is the last Best Buddies event, and it is always a highlight of the year. Please see Mrs. Daly or Clarion Aguila for a permission form. Permission forms are due on Tuesday. All girls who are student leaders for the You Go Girl this year should note that you will be taking a yearbook photo after school on Monday. Please meet in front of the main office at 3 p.m. on Monday. Thanks for Ms. Verasso. And now I'll pass it over to Miranda who has some information about events happening at lunch today. Good morning, Cathedral. It is the final day of our Rising Stars Rise Above the Silence campaign. Again, both lunches will be busy with activities, challenges, and special opportunities for you to learn more about mental health. Join the conversation and start the trend. Check out our social media challenge. Your tweets and likes can earn you treats and your chances to win an authentic NBA, NHL, MLB, or an NFL jersey. Participate in the game. Show who wants to be a millionaire. We need 10 willing contestants to speak up and take their chance at a million. Join our speakers' corners to voice scripted, supportive messages regarding mental health. We hope to see many of you at lunch today. That's it for me. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Miranda. The latest issue of the Gale Gazette is now available. You can get your hands on this champion special edition. Read, our boy, read about our boys' indoor soccer, glee, and badminton champions, as well as some individual champions. Read all about the changes happening to rooms 117 and 117A and find out more about the grants Cathedral has received. You can also find out how our Gales did during their day in court. You can pick up your copy in the Learning Commons, the Guidance Office, the Main Office, or the CSE. And now I'll pass it over to Ms. Sweeney, who has some information on an exciting event happening next week. Hi. I just wanted to say it's been a great month for the Arts Department. Uh, we had Music Fest earlier this month with Mr. Walker's Jazz Band and Choir. Um, if you missed the performance last night with Glee, the last two nights, I happened to catch it on Wednesday. Excellent performance. We are so, just so proud of the talent in the school. And on 
on uh, that note, I'd like to just tell you that the visual arts students will be involved in a display next week at Jackson Square. Uh, the it's called 751. This poster was designed by the graphics kids in our school, um, but it's a board-wide poster. So we'll be there for five days at Jackson Square. Uh, Ms. Nezazan and I have been working very hard with the students, and we shall be there on Monday with a few of the students. So if you happen to be on lunch, come out to Jackson Square. We're across from McDonald's. Um, my art students were very, very shy, so they wouldn't come and hold up their painting. So Mr. Trabuco offered a, a couple of his students to hold up the... Um, three of the paintings out of 11 that will be there along with other photography and artwork. So please come out. Uh, there, it's only open from 8.30 to 3 for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday, but on Thursday the hours are extended till 7. So if you'd like to come out and just see some wonderful talent across the board, please join us at Jackson across from McDonald's. Thank you. Thanks, Miss. Moving into sports, Cathedral competed at the GHAC Trapping Field track and field meet the last two days at the Mohawk Sports Park. Congratulations to the whole team. Twelve athletes qualified for the South Regional meet next week in Mississauga. Stefan Smith was city and GHAC champion in the senior boys shot put. The senior boys, relay team, the senior boys relay team were city champions and the senior girls relay team came second in the city. Andy, Amoni and Isaiah all qualified to compete in the 200 meter and Shamar qualified in the senior boys high jump. A team photo for all members of the team will be taken Monday immediately after school. Please meet at the doors to the backfield at 3 o'clock on Monday. Yesterday, the junior girls soccer team closed out its season. The girls worked hard and learned a lot throughout the season. Their team spirit was high and support for each other never wavered. Their skills improved with every game. We're looking forward to next year. Special thanks to Coach Ben who helped us out. The girls are asked to bring their wash soccer uniforms to room 207 at the end of period 2. Thanks from Coach Dadelski and Coach Holiday. And to close off the show, I'll pass it over to Mr. Tool. Thank you very much. Uh, just a brief announcement. There's so many exciting things here happening at the school uh, over this last couple of weeks, which is pretty exciting as we uh, put an end soon to our school year. But we have uh, just a brief reminder of Kinball that's going to be happening soon here around the school. Next Friday, May the 30th, and on the Saturday as well, we are hosting, we are very proud to be hosting the Canadian Open. And uh, that is something that in the past, the Nationals has always been held in Gatineau, Quebec. The first time that it's ever been held outside of Quebec. And again, I know I've said this before a few weeks back, if you're not familiar with this sport, uh, as I know many of our students are, I strongly encourage you to YouTube it and take a look at it. And uh, you'll uh, be quite amazed. Um, we uh, are asking, Ms. McCabe and I, that we have uh, nine teams that have signed up here from Cathedral to play in the Canadian Open, which we're incredibly excited about. Um, but we're asking that they attend a mandatory practice of all nine teams Monday after school at approximately 3.15 in our gymnasium. So again, uh, I strongly encourage, I'm sure you'll hear some more announcements between now and next week. Uh, for any of our students who may not have had the opportunity to try out this fabulous sport, uh, or even see it for that matter, to uh, come out and maybe support next Friday or Saturday in watching some of the exciting action with many of our students involved. Thank you very much and have a good day. I'm now going to pass it on to Salsa. Thanks, sir. So as you all may know, Ms. Jordan's event planning class has been working very hard to provide you with a carnival this year, our annual carnival. And this year is going to be better than the rest. We're going to have funnel cakes, wipeout zones, bungee obstacle courses, and all of this is happening this year. And all of the proceeds will go to the outreach program here, which helps students at Cathedral. So this year will be a little bit different than the others. So it's going to be a civvies day that day. And what's going to happen is you can buy out of the periods of periods two, three, and four, well, depending on your lunch, of a price of $2. And that will also cover the cost of your civvies wear. Yes, $2 per period. So remember that the carnival will be Wednesday, May 28th, during periods two, three, and four, which you can buy out of and wear civvies. So, back to our anchors. Thanks, Salsa. And those are all of your announcements for today, Cathedral. Happy birthday goes out to Hunter Shainer and Mr. Krosta. Have a great weekend, Gales, and thanks for watching. G -G